Good morning uh, and welcome uh, to uh, this uh, first broadcast. Uh, welcome to my uh, study here in uh, my home in Carrick-on-Shannon, most of which is in County Leitrim, where I live is actually uh, the other side of the bridge in County Roscommon. But you're all very welcome uh, to this uh, broadcast uh, about the wonderful world of uh, Stanley A. Einstein and Newport County uh, and football and uh, the city of Newport, uh, my home city, my hometown, the place that I uh, absolutely love. Um, you may be wondering why having uh, broadcast for, uh, well not broadcast, but written for such a long time on the uh, old uh, We Are Exiles uh, message board. I am now uh, embracing this new technology. Well, re of course, it's really the law of uh, unintended consequences. Uh, the administrators of the board, uh, Jacor Jacorius, or whatever he, uh, he calls himself, um, decided that I warranted a uh, four-week ban uh, for uh, pointing out that Jimmy Exile had a brother and didn't have a brother. Um, I suspect that wasn't the reason um, that I was uh, identified anybody. Um, I think it was rather more with um, shutting me up. Um, and unfortunately, uh, for those that uh, wish to do that, uh, there are uh, other agencies uh, uh, and mediums through which I can uh, spout my views, uh, which you may find interesting, which you may find facile. That is a matter uh, entirely uh, for yourselves, whether you watch this podcast or broadcast or whatever it's called. Again, a matter uh, entirely uh, for yourselves. Uh, so anyway, uh, leaving that aside, um, two things that I'm uh, going to talk about this morning. Um, firstly, the present uh, financial uh, situation. Um, and secondly, the position of the team as it uh, looks to embrace the new season, which uh, as the summer, the hot summer has, has gone on, uh, and the uh, the World Cup we've all enjoyed uh, suddenly is uh, less than three weeks away. So uh, first of all, the uh, the financial situation. Well, um, Rob Santris has uh, indicated on the board, which I was reading, that uh, negotiations are at a delicate state, and that is why uh, nothing will be uh, said from the club. Uh, at the moment, and I think that's a, a perfectly reasonable uh, stance to take. I do, though, have a concern, uh, not in this instance, but just generally, that very often when things are said to be um, confidential or delicate and we can't tell you about them, that uh, it usually indicates that there is a need to cover up uh, embarrassment. I don't think that is the case here. Um, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I'm always a little bit wary when we're told that uh, things will not be uh, brought to our attention because of the situation as presently exists uh, when this goes on. Uh, and so we never get to learn. Um, some years ago, I put forward a suggestion that I was willing to um, put in a uh, thousand pounds um, towards a stadium fund. Um, because uh, it is my belief, and I'll go to some length uh, to explain why during this um, broadcast, but it is my belief that until we have a stake in a fit-for-purpose stadium, uh, that we are operating under a massive disadvantage. Uh, but anyway, back to the, uh, the incident a couple of years ago, um, I suggested uh, that I would... Uh, gladly contribute a thousand pounds and that other people could contribute but this needed to be put in a trust fund and ring fenced um, on the basis that uh, it shouldn't be used for firefighting because there is always a problem there's always a difficulty with any organization and this isn't a criticism of anybody uh, but you always could do with cash for a, a particular purpose and the point that I was making is that if this money was ring-fenced, it wouldn't be used for short-term emergencies. It would be in a trust fund to develop a stadium which was fit for purpose. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, at the time, it seemed to me there were 
a number of options, but it was also clear uh, that uh, the club had um, found, found themselves in a very difficult position. Uh, Rodney Parade was was not suitable because of the pitch, was not suitable because of the relationship with the then owners. Spitty Park, uh, as we know, has a running track, um, has a, a, a popular bank, uh, used to be known as The Shed, which was... Uh, couldn't hold uh, spectators uh, and was utterly unsuitable for football. Um, at that time, I was asked to give uh, David Hando a ring. Uh, I did so, and he asked me to um, be quiet, to uh, put it on hold uh, because uh, negotiations were at a delicate stage uh, and the plans were in hand and uh, uh, myself uh, raising this uh, at that time at a delicate time, uh, might cause problems. Uh, I did so, uh, and that was the last that I ever heard. Um, why, I don't know. Um, but it seems that that idea died a death. Uh, uh, and I decided at that stage that, uh, that I would never again um, not... Uh, indicate exactly what I thought and when I thought it. That is not to say uh, that I am not capable of being wrong. Uh, I am uh, often wrong about many things, um, but I'm also right more often uh, than uh, some people would uh, like to have you uh, believe. Uh, and so for that reason, I think that the, the problems that we have now are merely the symptom of the overriding problem that Newport County have had, or Newport AFC and Newport County have had um, for in the 30 years since the, the Reformation. Um, in terms, that problem is this. We don't have a suitable stadium. Spitty wasn't suitable. Rodney Parade is suitable, except that we don't own Rodney Parade. We are licensees at Rodney Parade and we're in competition for the disposable income of the sporting public of Newport with the owners of Rodney Parade. Uh, it is in their interest to get every last penny they can out of us. It is not in their interest to have necessarily a successful uh, Newport County. Uh, and that is something that has to be faced up to. Uh, now, it is often said I never say anything good about uh, boards of directors. Well, in one sense, um, that is true, because every single board of directors over the last 30 years must have known about this problem. Every single board of directors has failed to address uh, this problem. It may be, it may be, that finally uh, that is uh, being done uh, at the moment. It may be that uh, finally after 30 years, um, the board of directors of Newport County, whatever their makeup, have come to agree with me. But uh, to me, unless, and, and I'd be delighted if anybody can think of uh, any other solution, there seems to me to be only one, as I put it, uh, show in town and that is to remain at Rodney Parade and for Rodney Parade to be developed as a stadium and a fit for purpose stadium. What we cannot succeed in doing is being in a position where whether it is the Dragons or Newport Athletic Club or the Welsh Rugby Union or whoever it is owns Rodney Parade and we simply pay uh, rent uh, to play there. The only way uh, we can be successful, in my view, is for Rodney Parade to be a stadium for both the major codes in the city of Newport. And for me, it seems that the reality of the situation is that whether it be the Dragons, and I refer to them all collectively as the rugby, but the rugby certainly don't have the money to um, 
invest and develop Rodney Parade by themselves. I genuinely don't. <laughs> I think it, 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 certainly the Newport County don't have the uh, money. Now, it's all very well, and I would make this point in, in passing, that uh, had we developed a stadium over 30 years, because that was what was required, um, then, uh, the, 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 then we could have done so. But that time is gone. We didn't develop a stadium. Uh, so all we can now do, uh, in, in my view, is simply to say this. Well, Newport County and the rugby both represent the city of Newport. The city council have a duty towards all of the people of the city of Newport. Uh, but I think in terms of what it does for the economy, uh, what it does for the esteem uh, of our town, uh, having a first class rugby team, having a first class football team uh, in uh, the town, the city of Newport, uh, is something that uh, we should all aspire towards. If the council are uh, willing uh, to uh, take on board the responsibility for Rodney Parade, uh, if the Welsh Rugby Union are prepared to give that up to the City Council, if Newport uh, Rugby, be it Dragons or uh, Newport RFC or whatever, uh, are, and, and Newport County can then share that facility, either paying rent or holding a stakeholder uh, position in it of equality, uh, then I think we have a, a, the opportunity to go forward. Failing that, I really don't see uh, what we can do other than to remain in a very unequal relationship, which eventually uh, will see Newport County sliding back down, I would imagine, uh, to uh, tier six level, uh, which for us now would be um, Conference South. And I think that's almost inevitable. Uh, un unless this can be done. Um, again, as I say, I'm not the Pope. I am not infallible. I could be wrong. Uh, and if anybody has uh, any um, suggestions of what we could or should do, uh, I would be uh, delighted to hear them. Uh, what I wouldn't be uh, delighted to hear, uh, although I suspect there'll be a, a good deal of it, um, is simply people saying why something won't work. Uh, that's easy to do. Um, it is easy. Uh, destruction is much easier than construction. Um, and uh, I've noticed uh, down the years that while any number of people are prepared to uh, be destructive towards anything that I've suggested, and I have no problem with that, uh, what they have failed uh, to do is to ever actually offer uh, a, a, a solution. So as I say, with respect to that uh, first topic that I was uh, covering um, in this broadcast, um, clearly, uh, that those are my views and I look forward to uh, whatever views anybody uh, wants to um, put, whether it adds to it, um, to disagree, agree or whatever. OK, moving on, the second um, topic that I'm going to uh, talk about uh, this morning um, is the upcoming season. Um, it is uh, already the uh, 16th of July. Uh, 8.50, it's just clicked over, 8.50 in the morning of the uh, 16th of July. And as we all know, um, in the first week in August, first Saturday in August, the new season kicks off. It'll be around uh, very, very uh, quickly. So what do I think the prospects are for next season? Well, uh, first of all, um, let me say that last season, before the season began, I thought we would uh, struggle, uh, but I did think we'd survive. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, certainly with the season up until uh, the middle of October, um, when it fell away a little bit. We then had an extremely good January um, with the uh, Leeds tie uh, and, of course, the tie which spilled over into February with, uh, with Tottenham. Um, there was a little bit of a blip league form in uh, November uh, and December, and then the season um, fell away uh, quite badly. Um, however, as I say, I was pleasantly surprised. We were uh, at the end of the season. I think it's only at the end of the season you can look back 
and whether we like it or not, we had a really good cup run and we were um, mid-table, mid-table. Uh, and over 46 games, uh, as, as anybody, I think, that uh, has been in football as, as a player, as a manager, or in the case of, of, of people born with two left feet like myself, um, merely a supporter will tell you. Um, the end of the season uh, league table um, doesn't lie. You can be unlucky not to be promoted, but you can't be lucky to be promoted because uh, if you get promoted, you've had a good season. You can be lucky not to be relegated, but you can't be unlucky uh, to be relegated because if you're relegated, you've had a bad season. Um, and as I say, uh, we finished um, very much a mid-table team. So uh, let's look at the prospects for next year. Well, the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to uh, look at the players that have left uh, the club. Um, and certainly Ben Toza, Frank Noble and uh, Ben White. Um, and uh, perhaps, and I'll deal with this um, uh, in, in greater length, uh, Joss uh, Labadee uh, uh, as well. Well, first of all, uh, I think Ben Toza was a perfectly adequate uh, tier four player, uh, replaceable, um, and um, he has wanted to move on elsewhere. Um, Frank Noble, or Nuble, or however he pronounces his name, um, I think was a much better player than a lot of people um, realised. Uh, I often have to bow to Neil Cork, who very often, uh, whose insight into the game is, is far greater than, than most people who post on the board, certainly far greater than mine. Um, but I disagree with him um, about Frank. I think that he was badly used uh, last season. Um, Frank is never going to be a, a massively high goal scorer. Um, and for such a big man, he is not very good um, in the air. Uh, but to me, last season, he seemed to be played in the wrong position, um, far too uh, out, out wide. And the upshot of that was that very often he'd received the ball, would hold the ball very well, um, but he wasn't a winger. Uh, and I think that uh, had he been played in the correct position um, I, uh, as a foil for um, Podge, then I think in those circumstances, uh, he might have been very much more effective. I don't think he'd necessarily got more goals, uh, but I think he would have created more goals. Uh, so I think he's a loss. Um, Ben White uh, was exceptional at our level. He will undoubtedly go on to have, um, well, he will probably go on uh, to have a very, very uh, good uh, career uh, in the game. Um, he had everything bar experience uh, and he will be, in my view, a uh, massive uh, loss uh, to the club. Um, Joss, uh, it's, it's really difficult to um, sum this up uh, without going to such great length that anybody listening to this will uh, have fallen asleep long before the end. Um, he's a type of player, let's be honest. We'd hate him if he played for anybody else and we'd love to have him in our side. And I think that would apply to... Um, supporters of any uh, third and fourth tier uh, club. He is, he reminds me in lots of ways of Robbie Savage. He, he is technically perfectly adequate. He's not technically a great player, but he lets you know he's there. He also has this ability um, to know just how far to go. Um, Robbie Savage, I think, at the international level, but I, I could be wrong about this, but my recollection is that he seemed to be booked every other week uh, but he was never sent off. He knew just how far um, to push, just how to do it. Uh, and in that sense, uh, I think he is, if he were to go, he's going to be a great loss. Um, I am informed that, uh, in fact, uh, the plan is for him to go and train with Dagenham and Redbridge 
um, play for them if he is able to do so, if his recovery has gone well um, before joining uh, Forest Green Rovers uh, in uh, the January uh, transfer window. Um, in any event, I think that Newport County, even if he were to stay, uh, there are two things. First of all, he won't be back uh, until we're well into the season. Uh, and secondly, uh, and something that we, we really don't know, whether he comes back or whether he goes elsewhere, is after uh, an injury to the cruciate ligament, um, whether he will ever actually make a full recovery. It's the type of injury that uh, if you or I um, were to suffer it, or certainly if I were to suffer it, it would be extremely painful. But I would make a full recovery uh, because I don't have to run for 15 kilometres and put in hard tackles on a football pitch on a Saturday afternoon. Um, and, and I think this is very often forgotten about um, injuries to players. It, it's not that they don't recover in terms of being able to do everything in adequately in day-to-day -day life, um, but they don't recover to that same um, level. And of course, there's also the mental block um, that every time you go in for a tackle, every time um, at the back of your mind is 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 the memory of of, of, of the injury itself, and that takes uh, some players can cope with that, some can't. Um, so for that reason, uh, my view is it is far more likely than not uh, that we've um, lost uh, Joss uh, Labadee. Um, I wish him well. Um, uh, if that is the case. Uh, and I will come, I, I'm not going to deal with in this broadcast, but I think the way that Newport County have kowtowed to any player, no matter how good, um, has been um, belittling for the club. Uh, I, but I, I'm not going to uh, deal with that uh, now. Um, OK, so those are the players out. Uh, you then have to look at, at who we've been brought in. Well, um, it seems to me that uh, it's unfair to um, comment on uh, players that I haven't seen. Uh, I mean, I can read, I can go into um, to uh, Wikipedia like anybody else, and uh, uh, but but to make an assessment on anybody that you haven't seen, um, looking just just at Charlie Cooper, for instance, um, he played for Forest Green. He had difficulties with the supporters because his father is the manager. One can see that. Um, did he have difficulties because he really wasn't quite up to it, or was it because um, because he was he was an obvious target? Um, and I think um, looking at the signings that we've made, uh, older players uh, and younger players. The older players, well, with uh, Jamil Matt. Um, Last season, 36 starts and four goals. Doesn't appear to be great for a striker. Um, Andrew Crofts, wanted, uh, not wanted by Scunthorpe, 34 years of age. Uh, I think made four starts for them uh, last season. Um, players brought in um, from, 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 from Forest Green, uh, Keno Marsh-Brown um, uh, being, being another uh, unreleased. Um, and uh, the lad from Stevenage, uh, Fraser Franks, um, who did, Stevenage did make him an offer, one that he, he chose to turn down. Um, but, but it does seem to me that we've, we've signed players, uh, either their careers have gone slightly wrong, their careers are needing the end, uh, or, and certainly in a number of cases, players who have come from teams that finished below us uh, in uh, League Two uh, last season. That said, on the uh, plus side, you really never know. Sometimes players um, just fit a style of play and they don't fit another style of play. Uh, they can be regarded as mediocre by the club that they come from uh, and then join Newport or whatever, and uh, are thought of as being absolutely brilliant. And the same applies the other way around, that we sign players who, uh, and we see on the message boards of other clubs, oh, we've lost so-and-so, and he's this, he's that, he's the other. And he comes and plays for Newport County, and within a few weeks, 
uh, we, we, we're not too sure that we really have the gem that, that we thought we had. So my view on that is, of course, we need to give the players, all, all the players who sign, a chance to show what they can do, to be absolutely supportive. And, and in any, to any degree, as soon as somebody pulls on a Newport County shirt, um, my view, I've never, ever uh, booed a Newport County team or a Newport County player. Uh, people have a right to do so if they wish. I, I wouldn't do it. I did, I have to say, uh, at the end of the, the Team Bath Cup tie, which going back a fair few years now, um, I stood at the end of the game in utter silence uh, and disbelief at, at what had happened. Uh, I think we also need to look at um, Mike Flynn uh, as well. And again, uh, I think this is a, a little bit of a, um, a double-edged sword. One, he has a full season under his belt as a manager, and so therefore um, should be uh, more experienced. Um, the difficulty that he would have in any event, and this happens to, um, it's the second album, the second book, the second season syndrome, is everybody else knows what you're about. Now, if you look at last season, the first half of the season in the league was better than the second half. If you look at Newport County games, by and large, our first half performances, certainly the games I saw last season, um, by and large, the first half performances were better uh, than, the, than the second half performances. <coughs> and I think the reason for that is that last season, Michael Finn was an unknown quantity um, and he set up sides in a certain way. And I think he possibly wasn't able to react when the opposition reacted. Um, and uh, too often, I think that uh, as uh, as teams um, and, and management teams at other clubs uh, did their homework, it became more and more apparent that the way to play Newport County is to press them. Uh, is, to, is to press us very hard um, and that we don't seem to uh, deal with that very well. So Michael Flynn, uh, and as I say, it, it, it works both ways. He has more experience, um, but he's, he's now a known quantity. Uh, and it very much depends on, has he learned uh, and therefore uh, can think of moves to counter the moves that are introduced to counter his initial moves, or is he not learned? Uh, and I think we'll discover that uh, next season. Um, always silly to give uh, predictions. I've done it for fun. Um, I've, surpri I've surprised myself by how often I've been right, uh, but when I've got it wrong, I've got it com a couple of times I've got it completely wrong. Um, notably the season when we walked away with uh, with um, division uh, with the Conference South when, when before the season started, I was utterly convinced it was going to be a season of of uh, mid-table mediocrity and utterly wrong in our second league season um, watching the 2-0 home defeat at Wickham Wanderers and walking out convinced that um, we were a busted flush um, without uh, and I was utterly wrong um, so um, however that notwithstanding my view of next season is I think we will struggle uh, I think it's going to be a much harder season than last year I think that if Flynn can motivate the team, um, we may just uh, survive. That, that's, that's my view. Um, I think we will struggle but survive. Uh, of course, uh, trying to be more optimistic, if one or two of the new players that we have actually click, if we get a, a gem, which and you never know when you, when you take the, with the loan market with Ben White, if we get another Ben White, um, or somebody of that caliber, especially if, if, if it would be a forward uh, in the loan market on a season long loan um, or, or an attacking midfield player, uh, then of course we could do very much better. Um, so, uh, and, and so anybody that wants to make the criticism that I'm rather covering all the bases, uh, that's, that's probably correct. Anyway, those are my, um, those are my views uh, for this morning. Um, I see it's gone on to 28 minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, so uh, having aimed uh, to talk to you for about half an hour, uh, 
well, we're about a minute short. Um, uh, and probably nothing uh, wrong with that. So all I can say is thank you for uh, listening. Um, whether you agree, disagree, uh, is, is entirely a matter, as I say, for yourselves. Um, I will hopefully be posting uh, more of uh, my views uh, up um, on all matters uh, Newport County, uh, all matters Newport. Uh, in the meantime, um, have a good week and um, speak to you again shortly. Bye for now.